welcome to the channel update video for Kappa LLX, LLX, Nico LX, or whatever you may want to call me. So this is basically just going to give you an update of what reviews are coming in the future. First off, just a game, the MMO I am working on on Steam Greenlight. It has been about three weeks since I commissioned the artist, because it takes them about two weeks to do the uh, ten character portraits that I commissioned for them. So any day now I should be getting back the artwork, and I should be able to start putting something up yeah, I should be able to make a new update video, a new vlog, a new developer's vlog with the updated code, which you can find out the details for if you go to follow the link in the description to the Steam Greenlight page. And of course, it'll have new art assets, which will be for five new races, which are we've got the Drow, we've got the Goblins, the Hobgoblins, the what is it, Wood Elves? I can't look at my. I'm not, Obviously, I'd have to look at my computer to pull up my full file list of everything I've commissioned, but it's five new races. Both with both five races, two genders each, ten portraits in total, male, female. Uh, I also have ordered some new figures for review and customizing. I've got the Mighty Morphin Blue Ranger, which should arrive since it's on pre order, and I have Amazon Prime. It should arrive on June 27th. I have ordered, um, since they were on sale for like two bucks on Amazon, I've got a couple more of the Ultra Force Metallic finger, fig, met, Ultra Force Metallic figures, which we have just covered yellow. So I believe I have pink and blue on the way. Um, since I have been actually reviewing the product, and it's all part of my big Bandai uh, project that I'm writing for English. 103, so it's research papers. So I'm actually researching Bandai. So I've got the Ghost Say Morpher coming in, which is also going to be used in a customization later on down the line. For those of you who are actually curious what I'm going to do with it, after I've had a chance to look at it, uh, get a figure of it, I'm going to turn it into a case for my iPhone. So for those of you who remember all of the Power Rangers jokes that they've posted on their Facebook, such as the, the Ghost Say Ghosty phone, I'm going to make it a reality. There will actually be a, it'll, well, it won't be a true phone built from scratch, but it'll be a phone case for the iPhone. So you'll actually be able to um, carry around the Ghosty Morpher. And um, I'm working with a guy, so I, for, for example, I'm getting that for that project. And of course, to do the toy tests and the, the car scanning. Um, I have picked up the SH Figure Arts for blue, as I mentioned. I also got the SH Figure Arts for black, for white, for green, and for the red armored figure, which, after the reviews, are also going to be put into my big customization project that's coming. For those of you who are actually curious, this is my box of customization kitsch. So all that stuff ends up being customized into unique stuff. Other projects I have in the future, there's no actual timeline for these yet. So I still have to do the research on them. But I really did like a lot of the stuff that Saban was putting out, Power Rangers were putting out on their Facebook for the April Fools. So I'm going to try and see about recreating those into actual form, like the rings, the necklaces, the earrings. So I'm going to see what the process would be to actually turn those into actual physical things. I have some props in development, which I probably won't be able to get to until July, because I'm moving in three weeks on July 3rd. So I really don't want to bring in all the supplies I would need to build a prop from gr the ground up, putting the electronics in, putting the uh, motors in, all that fun stuff. So since I'm moving in a couple of weeks, I'm holding off on ordering supplies I'll need for that. But that will be, I'll put that up on YouTube, you'll see actually how to build a morpher, a custom designed morpher from scratch with working electronics, working lights, working motors, no sounds because I haven't quite gotten the hang of how to incorporate a soundboard into something that's going to be, you know, about the size of a wallet. You know, I'm going to build a morpher roughly about this size, about a, a little bit thicker than that. So, I haven't quite figured out the electronics, but I am looking into it. So it probably won't be in the original build. What else am I working on? I mentioned the game mods. I am working on, right now, 
I'm looking into the, the research and figuring out the process of what I want to do, but I am working on a mod for Game Dev Tycoon. Um, at some point in the near future, I'm actually going to, have to, I'm going to build my main desktop, so I'm not using my Leno Lenovo, which has no graphics card for my game development. But once I actually have my proper gaming rig built for game development, I will be working on, I'll be picking up the development of the Khajiit Expanded Mod for Skyrim, and uh, which is actually part of a larger Races Expanded Mod, so that will be in some point in the future. Probably, my guess, around August, if I had to make a guess. Um, and that's pretty much the long and the short of it. I have got several figure reviews coming. They should be arriving in the next two weeks, so I've got some that should be arriving tomorrow, some that should be arriving by the 27th, and some that arrive in that span between. I have got game stuff, you know, game development stuff that I'm working on. I've got game mod stuff I'm working on. I have got actual prop building that I'm working on, as well as uh, in the future there'll be actual props I'll I'm going to be commissioning because I'm going to do an entire segment on the entire customization community. So, as I have covered already, the Go Kaiju stuff. At one point in the future, I will be actually be getting copies of the custom of the handmade customization props. There's the one from Cosjoy, which is the Go Kai Saber PVC. It has no lights and electronics, but you know it's basically just a show accurate version of that. And then I have. Um, I'll be working with Custom Works to actually make a adult size mod to that. And I'll be comparing and contrasting the, com the customized versions of these props, or ones that are made from scratch like Cosjoy does, versus the toy, covering the pros and cons, just like I covered the pros and cons of the American versus the Japanese. So that is my channel update. And I hope you've all had a good time. And cut. Good night, everybody.